Michelle here at My Everyday Wife Life, and I thought I would vlog today. Maybe like, we'll see how it goes. But um, it's Friday. You're probably going to see this on Monday. But I want to do like, you know how everybody does this Sunday setup thing for the week? I want to do Friday. <laughs> anyway, so um, Hubby has off every other Friday, and this Friday he doesn't. So. I'm going to take the opportunity to clean up the house. It's fairly clean. I'll show you in a second. So anyway, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But right now, I was editing a video. So if you want to, if you haven't seen the latest um, Fix It Friday, Phase 3, you can see that. So do you want to know what I was wa watching? Maybe you want to know. So I was watching uh, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela. She was doing. No, it's not, I'm sorry, Liliana. That was not the best um, face there. So she was doing a review on um, some cleaning products and stuff. And if you y'all know that, I'm trying to go all natural. And um, anyway, so she was. I think that's what she's trying to do too because it bothers her. So. Um, I was watching her, and then I was watching The Minimalist. Um, yeah, no, I'm not becoming a minimalist. It just has been coming up on my feed lately, and I thought she was very interesting. So I sent actually sent the link to my niece, because um, she's trying to minimalize um, the toys. I don't know if she's becoming a minimalist. <laughs> not, probably. Um she just had two babies. I really don't think she two twins, so I don't think she's worried about that right now. But the toy problem has become a problem. So I don't know. I thought she might be interested, so I sent that to her and I upload again, like I said, I was editing and uploading the video. So be sure to watch that video. Um not quite done with the driveway landscaping project yet. So yeah. All right, so this week I wanted to try doing the Clean Mama. Um, sorry, I'm not showing my face. I'm just not ready to show my face in this video, in the videos lately. So I don't know what to tell you. So um, anyhow, squirrel. Um, I was going to try to do the Clean Mama um, cleaning method. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the link down below. And I do want to do a Clean Mama challenge. I don't know. I like to mix it up. Do I think I'm going to stick to a routine? No. Do I have to? No. My mom never did. Whatever. <laughs> what is with all this stuff? I didn't even know about Fly Lady and all that kind of stuff um, until I became a YouTuber. So, um, so I, the point of this is I cleaned up my, I did clean up my craft room. It was a mess. I don't know if you noticed in other videos. I still have to contend with this. So, if you would like a craft room tour and I do kind of still want to do the list thingy I don't know maybe I'll incorporate that in this video um let me know in the comments below if you want to see a 2019 craft room tour I haven't been doing very much crafting so what well, what well, back to the clean mama thing um so I just like to do these challenges I like to do just to see how they are and I like to mix it up I don't like to do the same routine all the time. It's boring. So, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Like, I've mentioned this before. Kind of like playing the game. So, I wanted to try out Clean Mama just to, um, you know, get rid of the boredom of cleaning the house. And kick my butt a little bit. I finally am getting some energy and stuff. So, I cleaned up the craft room mostly. Like I said, except for that. Um, there's candles. Gonna get rid of them. Still haven't finished that video. I started decluttering them and then, I don't know. I got anxiety about it. So I got a new cat bed and apparently the cat doesn't like it. So I've been looking for, I didn't even take the tag off of it. I've been looking for a cat bed for this room um, because Kirby likes to sleep in this chair and he gets a lint, uh, cat hair all over it. And um, so I bought this one, but since I put it in the, in here, he hasn't been sleeping on it. I don't know. I thought it was cute. It's pink, and it goes with the room, pink and purple, and it's little cat mermaids. I thought it was cute. And I still have to do something with all this stuff. 
Yeah, so I got a little bit of work to do. So today, what am I going to do? So the, the house is mostly clean. Everything else is, the house is clean. I cleaned it on Monday and then was going to do the Clean Mama Challenge and that just didn't happen. So the dining room is clean except for this water bottle. I don't know who left that there. Maybe me, that chair needs to be pushed in. Um, those things are still there. I, if I get a package in the mail today, it's something for the babies. If that comes in today, I might go see the babies and bring them what I bought. This is pretty much clean. I just need to do something with this stuff right here. But other than that, it's all clean. That's hubby's stuff. A lot of stuff is there you might have seen in many videos. He's going to clean that this weekend. The laundry room is pretty much clean. I cleaned that up on Monday. I just need to do something with this. It was all clean, and then I went to the grocery store. Got to do something with the water, and then that needs to go in the garage. I need to put the iron away. Um, other than that, do something with that. Other than that, it's pretty clean, you know. I have got to start a load of wash because I left it in there, and yeah, it needs to be washed, so... I got to put some laundry soap in there. And this is what I'm using currently. I am using the seventh generation. I will continue to use this. This is rates really good on the Think Dirty app. Um, I've been mentioning, I've been trying to go more natural. Most of the time, um, hold on, let me put this soap in there first. I can't do stuff and talk at the same time. That's a little full. But anyway. Um, most of the time with um, cleaners that say they're all natural, or not all natural, that they're more natural, like the stuff on the Grow Collaborative, they're not completely natural. And the thing is um, that they're not the thing that's, that's not at natural about them is usually the fragrances. So, method, all natural, pretty much natural except for the fragrance, which gives them a bad rating on the Think Dirty app. This is not. It's, this is natural. Look, no synthetic fragrances. No artificial dyes and brighteners and stuff. So, I really like this one. It is the... Citrus scent. I've tried the lavender. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, this is the one that I like. And what I got this, and this is the stain remover. That works good. Oh, and I forgot to put. Well, I don't know if I know. I bought this too. This is an oxy booster. Um, I have hard water, so it really works for hard water um, instead of using bleach. Uh, again, that's seventh generation. So I think I have um, laundry in here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a fluff and fold that. And this door still hasn't been fixed. So I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm just waiting for, probably don't need to do it that long. Probably that. Um, I'm just waiting for the washer to break. <laughs> I'm gonna do one. I don't know. Anyway, so um, this is fairly clean. Oh, you know what? Shoot, what did? Oh, I'll be wanting me to go to the post office. So I do need to take that to the post office today. I got all my pills here. I had a uh, pretty bouquet of flowers that I bought myself. Cause I knew hubby wouldn't get it for me for my anniversary. I'm good with that. It doesn't matter. He's just not romantic. I love him, but he's not very romantic. Anyway, so it was on their last leg. And what I did was I, um, obviously I'm going to be talky talky in this video. I took apart the bouquet. We had roses and stuff. Those were dying. I took apart the bouquet and then got some mason jars out and pulled out the flowers that were still hanging in there and made two little bouquets out of it. That, that's a way to um, make your bouquet of flowers uh, last a little longer. And I gotta clean up the kitchen. Um, this just needs straightened up a little bit. And the reason that that is pulled up like that is because 
of my shark vacuum. That thing, I bought, I don't know if I had mentioned it on, on video, but I have this says no, which I don't know where my vacuums are. Let's see. I started them this morning, so I have been doing that a lot. I don't know. They must be, they do not know. <laughs> Neither one of them knows how to find the charger when they're done cleaning. That's the only thing. I think it's because I have a, a larger floor plan. So let's see if I can find them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find them later. Let's push this chair in. Oh, the shark is on the charger. It managed, the other one didn't. I don't know where it's at. I'll have to find it. Probably under some furniture or, or something. So this is the shark vacuum. And the reason I bought that is because this has a beater bar on it and the other one doesn't. And this does a way better job of cleaning up than the other one does. This one does work, but this one, let me see how much stuff is in there, if I can show you, so. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off so I can open Okay, gross, that's just from one session of cleaning. That was today, I already emptied it from yesterday. So, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot that it cleaned up. So, it's doing a fantastic job and, um. I run it every day. I wasn't doing that before. And then I just vacuum once a week and run this every day. So I suggest getting this if you have um, pets. It really, I was having a really hard time staying on top of the cat hair. And this has helped tremendously. Plus the little bits of stuff on the tile floor. I can't stand it because you know, I'm bare feet all the time. And if I'm walking and I feel one little brand of sand on my foot, I come over to the carpet and wipe my feet off. And yeah, I can't stand it. So I really like really clean floor. So let me empty this and um, put that back. All right, so I need to clean up the kitchen. And um, yeah, I'll do that. I did start and that was left out. I was making hubby's lunch this morning and I didn't put that away. And I did start the dishwasher this morning, so that's going. I just, you know, I just need to clean up a little bit. And I need to get some water going. Some lemon water and lemon and lime water. And I recently saw a thing to put chia seeds in your lemon water. Chia seeds are protein. So apparently that's supposed to be good to you. So I'm gonna, good for you. So I'm going to try that and clean up the kitchen and then make the bed and i don't know what else i'm going to do today but i want the house to be all clean i might straighten up the um refrigerator it's not too bad um i need to you know i need to do the freezer it needs organized and there's actually some meat in there that needs to go because through my um whatever I have been going through lately episode whatever Hashimoto's episode on me whatever I we ate out a lot and that meat didn't get used so it's bad so I need to throw that away I need to organize this um not sure what else I'm going to do so let me clean up the kitchen start there and yeah Water ready for the day. Um, hopefully, I'll drink it all and refill it later. So that's going. I'm gonna put the extra lemon lime in the refrigerator, and that's going up in the cupboard. And I'm sure you've seen this before, but 
I throw the lime, uh, lemon and lime rinds, and when I'm done drinking this for the day, I throw that in there and run it through the garbage disposal. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you this thing, and I know you've probably seen this before, but um, I got that from Grow Collaborative. If you want to um, buy from Grow Collaborative, I'll put a link down below. You can get $10 off your first order. You guys, to be honest, I'm on the fence with Grow Collaborative. I don't know. Um, I'm on the fence with it. First of all, the only thing I want to buy from there now is seventh generation and I can get that at Target for the same price and I know you can do price match but I don't know I, and this this order that I got this time I was trying to change the date on it to next month and it wouldn't let me so I don't know if they change your policy or not and um but you know <laughs> it's nice when y'all click on that link and I get when you click on it you get ten dollars off and I get ten dollars off but I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm still keeping my um, account, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But anyway, I love this thing. I was like, i seen a bunch of people with it. I'm like, yeah, what's the big deal? Uh, no. <laughs> I love it. So you put soap in the bottom. I think some people you put, um, have said they put wa water and a little bit of soap. But I actually just put full soap because I like a lot of soap. But, um, here again, I'm terrible with wasting soap. And this has prevented me from wasting so much soap. I'll just squeeze a whole bunch out onto the sponge. And then if we just do this, you get a little bit on the bottom of your um, scrubber. And as a matter of fact, I've seen they make one for sponges. So, um, same thing, but it's for sponge. So, I'm going to buy one for, or actually, that's what the order is coming in that is sent out today so all right let me stop talking and um clean up the kitchen um yeah i need to do something i hand wash these because i gotta unload the dishwasher tonight when that's finished the um iron skillet just that's its home we use it every night i'm not putting it away anyway so and it really kind of doesn't fit so everything is clean. Um, I think I am going, the shark is running now because I have it programmed to go off at 12 o'clock every day. That's the one thing about the other vacuum. When I find it, I will show it to you. It says no brand. Um, it was cheaper, a lot cheaper. So um, as you can't program, this is no. They both have apps on the phone. So you can push clean, but you can't program, this is no. Anyway, this is the seventh generation um, multi-surface cleaner that I'm using. I'm not gonna say that I am in love with the smell, <laughs> cause I'm not. <laughs> it's not gross or anything, it's just, I'm getting used to it, cause it's natural and I just need to get used to it. I am not used the other stuff. Um, and it just has a little home, that's my little basket of stuff there. And hubby and I tend not to use paper towels, we do have paper towels. But um, we use hand towels and stuff. And guess what? The chia seeds in there, yeah, that's kind of gross. <laughs> Not gonna do that again. Cause they swell up in the water and then you're drinking. Oh yeah, that's, that's kind of gross. So I'm not gonna do that. So I recently bought these and I got them in the automotive section. And if you notice, it's the same brand of that um, cleaning wand that I showed in another video that everybody wanted to know what that was. Quickie brand. So I bought this in an automotive section at Home Depot, didn't I? There was like 20 of them. These things are super absorbent. And yeah, I don't, I'm using these as my cleaning cloths. Like I have a bunch of cleaning cloths, these um, bar mops and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to use these. They are just, I have other microfiber cloths and they're just not their crappy Walmart brand. This is a better quality. Now I'll have to say it's not as good as quality as my, and I'll show you later, my microfiber cleaning class that I got from Makers, um, Makers Clean, what is it? Clean My Space, you know? 
Melissa and Chad. Um, if you watch that channel, I'll put the link down below. If you don't, and they, but I use those for like dusting. I don't want to use this to wipe the count. Use those cloths to wipe the counters for or the toilets and stuff like that. So I highly recommend these. These are really. I used to have to like um, get the scrubby pad and scrub the counters and then wipe them. Yeah, I don't really have to do that. It's yeah. Also, the other thing that's help is <laughs> I spray the counters and then leave it and then go back to it and wipe it down and that obviously helps too. So I need to wash these. I'm gonna wash this one too and just get a new one. Because that's what I do every day. But I, I haven't put these away every day, so or washed put them in the thing. And this is where I put them. I had a little tiny basket here but then I noticed that this laundry basket fit between the washer and the dryer real good so I just throw the wash rags in there and then when it fills up I wash them and it looks like my um, clothes are dry and ready to be transferred um, but you know what I have to make the bed before I do that it's just a thing so I'm going to do that but there was something else I wanted to tell you I don't know, I'm gonna, this video is going to be ridiculous. Oh, I wanted to tell you that I put some essential oils in here. So I put some of this essential oils in there. And oh my God, it smells so good. So do that. That's a little tip. And um, then get back to you guys. I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to clean it because I've talked long enough. Yeah, just clean it up. Okay, so I cleaned up the bedroom. I'm going to fold this laundry. I got the other thing in the dryer. I'm going to start another load. I think I didn't finish what I was saying earlier. See, right now it's caught up on the ledge here. So that happens. And also, too, if you have anything dangling, cords, like that thing in the, the blanket that's covering the ottoman in there, has little tassels on the end of it, it'll get caught up in that. So you got to just make sure there's nothing on the floor. Um, this just needs to be... Yeah. There's always that one pair or whatever that don't match. Okay, these don't match, so they must be in the laundry. So, yeah, there's that. And Hubby got some new socks, so he's throwing away his old ones where we're going to donate them. And I'm going to probably, I've been purging some clothes. If you watch me for any length of time, you know, I keep this basket here beside the um, dresser so we can just start throwing things in there as we go. If we find something we don't like when we get, pull it out, when we get dressed for the day, we we'll throw it in there. So, but Rachel from My Sweet and Simple Home is doing a one box challenge on the 31st and I'm going to try to join that if I can find the time or energy. I will do okay, that. Okay, that laundry is put away. I'm going to sit here and take a break and edit my video for inquiring minds <laughs> i edit film and edit on my phone and what i do is as i do a i don't always do this but today what i'm doing is as i film a clip i add it to the video and then i'll sit here and watch the video as i'm cleaning so i can see if it needs editing and that kind of thing so um, but i'm going to sit here and edit it and take a little break I think that I need to vacuum this rug for sure. So I need to clean the laundry room, finish the laundry. I think that it, oh, straighten up the family room. It really takes not even five minutes to do that. Um, I think that's it other than um, maybe cleaning the bathrooms, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that today. Um, I think I did enough. So, um, the point of this is I wanted to do, like, a, um, whole house clean on Friday, because I had been doing it on the weekend, although, um, I haven't had enough energy to do a whole house clean, so, yeah, I, but I have done it two weekends in a row, but it ended up being on Saturday or Sunday, and um i don't want to do that anymore i just want to do i want to do it on friday so but you know what life happens you know if i get a phone call on friday and mr wants to hang out i'm gonna go hang out with her so 
um, or the babies and all that kind of stuff. So for right now, um, I got nothing going on, so I'm gonna edit my video, take a break, and um, then go clean the laundry room and vacuum. Okay, I'm gonna vacuum the bedroom. Okay, and this vacuum, which I use to do the tile with, has had its home here because there's no room for it in the utility room, AKA, or actually the Monica closet, AKA the utility room. Yeah, I, I've mentioned that before. That's a project. So I'm going to do the tile, but just in the kitchen family room area. I don't think the rest of the house really needs it. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, that's done, and I'm gonna go straighten up the family room just a little bit. I'm gonna straighten up the pillows, really. All right. That took like a minute. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't do that over here. All right, that's all straight. So now that the house is all straightened up, hopefully this weekend I can sit down and go through all this paperwork. Okay, one yeah. more thing I'm done. I gotta. Oh, I'm feeling dirt underneath my feet. Crap! And I already put that other vacuum away. Um, yeah, I gotta do something with this water, iron, and do something with this box. Okay, note to self, I need a, air, or a little doormat right there because hubby is dragging in dirt he goes for a walk every morning yeah and I don't want this to get dirty yeah so because that's happened before so yeah note to self oh and I have I bought one of these shark these shark um, handheld vac things I know I'm crazy how many vacuums can I have but anyway so but you hear that that thing is powerful so let me show you what I want it for so I want it for stuff like this. So. So it has little attachments to it. A little brush attachment. So yeah, that's something I bought recently too. So that really works really good. Oh, and watch this. This is how you empty it. You just push this button. Done. Okay. And you close it. Done. I'll clean up the other day because I did a video on this uh, on a tablescape video. I've mentioned this before. If I set the table, then it doesn't get piled with junk. <laughs> so I haven't done that in a while because hubby was using it for his craft. Anyway, guys, give you a different view. That's it for this video. I'm done for now. I'm going to go do something fun. Take a shower. Maybe get my, go get my hair cut. Um, if that package came in, I might go visit the littles. All right, guys. Okay, I'll put a link down below for the... Um, the shark vac and all that kind of stuff. Anything that I mentioned in this video, I'll put a link down below. That's it for this video. Finally getting my energy back. But just know, Hashimoto's waxes and wanes. And what that means is you could be fine one day and not the next. One day you can't get out of bed, the next day you're fine. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That's why people don't understand Hashimoto's. Or any other autoimmune disease is pretty much the same thing. Hashimoto's is kind of the, because some people were asking, what's Hashimoto's? Well, first of all, look it up, Google it. But I will do a video on that. I am not an expert on it. And I have a hard time, like, I can absorb the information. But then when I re, how do I say, when I give the information back, it doesn't come out the same. So I will try my best, but, um... 
So Hashimoto's is kind of like the cousin to lupus. Not lupus is way worse, but my cousin has lupus. So yeah. So anyway, that's why, you know, I was like, how, you know, I don't know. Maybe nobody's saying this, but I always think that in the back of my head, people are thinking, well, mostly the Mostly, I'm thinking people that have Hashimoto's. Because I know a lot of you have Hashimoto's that follow me. And you're... But then again, you guys understand that. How is it that you could put out a video one day, and then the next day, you can't get out of bed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was something I ate. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe stress. All kinds of things can make you have a flare and be like that. So, um... And I'm not always flaring. I just, you know, I just have been having a bad year because I had to change my medicine is what the problem was. The medicine wasn't working and I had to change it. And this is the fourth time that I've had to change my thyroid meds. Not just the dosage, the actual medicine because it wasn't working. And each time it, it took like a year or two, yeah, six months to a year to recover. So, all right, I talked long enough. This is going to be a long video y'all been asking for chatty videos here it is all right guys that's it for now enjoy your day mm -hmm.